Hi again, Rick here, and for this tiny cup of lore, we'll be looking into another of Starfleet's legacy named ships, this time the USS Saratoga, beginning with the real world origin of the name. In 1780, the USS Saratoga was a naval vessel that eventually vanished at sea during a merchant escort mission from Cap Francis in Haiti. The vessel left the convoy to chase off a couple of unidentified vessels, succeeded in capturing one, and transferred some crew to man the prize. However, during a strong gale, Midshipman Penfield, commander of the taken ship, lost sight of the Saratoga, and it was never seen again. Then in 1814, the second USS Saratoga seemed to serve well enough until 1825 when it was sold. In 1842, there was another Saratoga that was decommissioned on December the 10th, 1844, then again in 1849, and October 1854, then in 61. Then in 65, what is going on here? The vessel was continually decommissioned and recommissioned until 1888 when it was designated a training vessel. In 1911, an armoured cruiser called the USS New York ACR-2 was renamed the USS Saratoga and went on to serve in the First World War until 1917. She was again rechristened the USS Rochester CA-2. The USS Saratoga CV-3 was a Lexington-class aircraft carrier. Originally, the Lexington class was penned as a battlecruiser, but was converted into the aircraft carrier to comply with the Five Power Treaty, or the Washington Naval Treaty, that limited the number of types of a vessel a navy could construct to prevent an arms race. She rather impressively was one of only three American carriers to survive the Second World War, with the other two being the Ranger and the Enterprise. In 1946, she and 94 other vessels were assembled at Bikini Atoll and nuked with two bombs in the infamous Operation Crossroads, a nuclear test which irradiated the debris and area leading to the postponement of the third test for 11 years. Decontamination efforts were a failure, with even the support vessels being irradiated and the crews spreading the contamination. The most recent USS Saratoga was the supercarrier CV-60, commissioned in 1956 and serving until 1994 when it was eventually scrapped. In Star Trek, the first starship Saratoga was mentioned in Star Trek Enterprise in 2151, under the command of Captain Brody. This vessel likely was reserved for Earth local operations, as at this time the NX-01 Enterprise was the only deep space explorer in Starfleet's arsenal. Star Trek Discovery also had a Saratoga during the Klingon Federation War of 2256. The ship docked at Starbase 22 and unwittingly brought with it a Klingon raider that self-destructed, taking down the whole facility and numerous vessels. Around this time, and mentioned in non-canon sources, was a Constitution model starship with the registry NCC-1724. This may have been the same vessel as the one destroyed in Discovery, however other sources go on to state that this vessel was still in service in 2280, and underwent a Constitution refit overhaul. So I think it's possible that there could be another Saratoga that was then decommissioned by 2386, but overall this Connie iteration of the vessel is unlikely to be folded into canon, with the subsequent appearance of a new USS Saratoga, and a very canonical one. The USS Saratoga NCC-1887 was a Miranda-class ship that was one of Starfleet's first victims of the Whale Probe in 2286. In book adaptations, the ship survived this encounter, having lost all power and using what little remained in reserve to power suspended animation to keep the crew alive until rescue. In 2311, the clandestine Tomed incident occurred, involving the Romulan ship Tomed, Starfleet Intelligence, and Captain John Harriman of the Enterprise B. The Saratoga was destroyed in this event. The Farsa RPG game mentions a USS Saratoga NCC-3007 that operated in the early 24th century as a Royal Sovereign-class vessel, which sort of looks like a stretched-out Galaxy class, but made from older components. Personal note, not a fan, but there are no other Saratogas in this time period to clash with, so... meh. By the 24th century, around 2358, the USS Saratoga was being used once again to identify a Miranda-class vessel, this time the NCC-31911 under Captain Martin Jedlicker in 2365. Two years later, it had transferred command and was one of the vessels tasked to intercept and destroy the Borg Cube during the first attack on Earth. 
the stand was to be taken at Wolf 359, however Starfleet was completely unprepared for the firepower of the Borg, combined with the tactical inside knowledge gleaned from an assimilated Jean-Luc Picard. The Saratoga was destroyed and casualties included Jennifer Sisko. Captain Benjamin Sisko kept a model of the Saratoga in his office aboard DS9. Starfleet wasn't long without a Saratoga, however, as a new one was in service by 2374, launched in 2372. This Saratoga bore the privilege of being one of the few Starfleet vessels to retain its registry when being named, becoming the USS Saratoga NCC 31911-A. Nice, a new vessel to bear a long lineage. And what was it? A Miranda class. Y you sure? Got some nice plans in the works for some awesome looking Akiras. No? Maybe a Sabre? Miranda class. You're certain it's going to be a Miranda class? Okay then, another Miranda class it is. However, there are also references to a Sovereign class vessel named the Saratoga around the end of the 2370s. Such is the problem with trying to consolidate all memory beta into a single timeline and I guess this could be a vessel to adopt the Saratoga name after the loss or reassignment of the Saratoga A. Both of these final two ships don't exactly clash, but it would be a bit of a crammed fit to suggest that a new Miranda was launched in 2372, then replaced by a much more advanced vessel five years later. Then again, the only source we have for sure is that there was definitely a USS Saratoga docked at DS9 in 2374 and it could have been either one of these ships. Basically, Starfleet hasn't been without a Saratoga in its ranks, practically since its inception in the 22nd century, but this namesake has a bit of a reputation as an unlucky one within Star Trek. Including historical ones, we have a fairly substantial case to say that Trek treats the Saratoga as a bit of a red shirt. Thanks for watching this vid on the lineage of the Saratoga. What do you make of the inclusion of all of these sources? Would it be too much to try to make them all fit? I kind of think it would, but that's my take as someone who would prefer a easy to follow chronology. Until next time, thanks again for watching. I've been Rick and sound the evacuation alarms. <laughs>